What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Legit and I just seen this on my recommended page as I was editing a video just got done making a thumbnail and shit, you know what I'm saying? It was a weak game for real, but bro, I just seen this on my recommended page four minutes ago. This man, James Harden, has been traded to the Clippers. The like how is it wait, first of all, how is this even gonna work? Because they already have a ball dominant guard in Russ. Who y'all think is gonna come off the bench? Who's going to come off the bench? Is it going to be Harden to come off the bench like he did in the OKC days? Or y'all think Russ come off the bench to push the pace, man? And then I'll go on Twitter after I watch this video to see, like, the full trade details and stuff like that. This is have I, I, I want to know who the hell did the Clippers get rid of. James Harden to the LA Clippers along with PJ Tucker and Philip Petrusov. Who? In return for Marcus. Okay, I know Philip. I mean, I, mean, I know PJ Tucker, but who was the second nigga? It's sounding like the fucking 76ers got fleeced. And I know they've been seeing uh, Maxi have a good-ass season this season. But, like, what happens if he gets injured? Who's their backup guard? Morris, Nick Batum, Tucker, and Philip Petrusov. In return for Marcus Morris, Marcus Morris, Nick Batum, Batum, Robert Covington, KJ Martin. Oh, my gosh. They got rid of Robert Covington. He was just starting for them. He was locking up Wimby, wasn't it? Now he's gone. Turn for Marcus Morris, Nick Batum, Robert Covington, KJ Martin. KJ Martin, oh, he went from the Rockets. Then he did the podcast with Podcast P and his dad, I think, too. It was like, oh, yeah, we've been needing a lob threat. Now he's gone. Multiple draft picks and a pick swap. And it's a lot of old players going around in this trade. Oh, but my I think goodness. The, have the 76ers got fleeced. P.J. Tucker getting rid of him as well. He's a solid defender. You know what I'm saying? P.J. Tucker, he can defend. He's not going to get you a lot of buckets. He's not an offensive type of guy, but he's going to leave it all out there on the floor. You know what I'm saying? He's going to be a uh, – I don't know why the 76ers would get rid of him. Is it because of his scoring? But, I mean, he's a great defender. Won this one. Damn. Harden and Tucker for Morris Batum, Covington, and K.J. Martin. No Norman Powell. They really got a big man. four. The two hey, they got a match up with the Celtics, bro. Uh, you know what I'm saying? The Celtics got a big four with uh, Porzingis, Holiday. You could really say the Celtics got a big five because Derek White is reaching that, that level. He's nice. But he's just a great role player. He's not an all-star. He's just a great top-tier role player. But um, they got Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, Porzingis, and Drew Holiday. And now they got them four. They need a big man all-star. Or a power four, power four, big. Can Kawhi play the four, y'all think? Is he too undersized? But Zubak is still mid as fuck. He can't shoot. That I thought probably would have been in the trade. And Harden obviously has Terrence Mann. The two that I thought probably would have been. Who? Wait, my fault. No Norman Powell or Terrence Mann. So they got two. to keep Norman Powell and Terrence Mann. These niggas got so many guards. How many guards do they have? That I thought probably would have been in the trade. And Harden obviously hasn't played a single game this year with the Philadelphia 76ers. Oh, wow. But finally got onto the 76ers bench. He laughing on the bench like, oh, yeah, hey, nigga, you know I'm out of here tomorrow. So, <laughs> nigga, hey, hey, enjoy y'all loss because I'm going to the West, nigga. First time there this season and it will be his last time as well. Now joining up with Kawhi and Paul George and former Rockets teammate Russell Westbrook. On and former Clippers. Thunder teammate, he buddy. He chance at teaming up with some great players to get his first ring in his career. Uh, Obviously well, well you're he, he talking about getting his first ring. He's going to have to match up with my glorious king, LeBron James. So, although the anticipation is high, you're not beating my Lakers, my nigga. So, kiss them goddamn ring chances goodbye. The only way you can win a ring is if you go to the East, man. Because uh, we're, we're, we're sweeping the whole West out. And a few good players in Houston with him, Chris Paul and Westbrook, as I just said. And if we so lose in the West, KD, Kyrie, I don't think you're beating the Bucks. Embiid, now to the Clippers with Kawhi and Paul. Wait, hold on, I'm talking. I'm Obviously chatting. had a few good players in Houston with him, Chris Paul and Westbrook, as I just said. Yeah. Went to the Nets with KD, Kyrie, then to Philly with Embiid. Now yeah. to the Clippers with Kawhi and Paul George. Is this his best chance at getting a ring? His fourth really super team. Do it? Let me know in the comment section down below. Let me know your thoughts as well. I'm not sure how Harden, Kawhi, and Paul George are going to work, work together. Facts. We'll obviously have to wait and see. I hope it works, but only time will tell. Bro, how they so quick with the photoshops, though? Like, they knew this shit was happening. It was all a part of the script. Pose, you've got to try and see how things work out when you've got Kawhi and Paul George, who are getting towards the end of their career. So it's mm. pretty much a win-now situation. Is Harden not getting towards the end of his career, too? Why would they trade away... 
well, they didn't really get rid of their future because they still got Terrence Mann and like a young, like KJ Martin was a young player. But like these niggas are all ending their careers. I don't know how much longer they have left. They got rid of their future for now. They're in a win now moment. They they want to win now. If they don't win it this year, or maybe I give them another after next, they might disband this whole thing and just start a rebuild. Like how they got rid of Shy Clippers, but Harden will be joining them too, and Russell Westbrook. And they keep Terrence Mann somehow, and they get PJ Tucker. And keep they got PJ Tucker too, a great defender. I can't. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. The Clippers fleece them. In exchange Steve for Marcus Ballmer, Morris, w. Nick Batum, Robert Covington, KJ Martin, multiple draft picks, and a pick swap. Wow, man. All right, let me go on Twitter because I, I was talking over this dude too much. So let me go on Twitter and like go over it myself real quick before I uh really see what went down. Okay, so they got to keep Bones Highland too. They got to keep Bones Highland as well. Harden's gonna play the shooting guard? So Harden can be a spot up shooter? Y'all think he's gonna have the ball in his hands a lot? That means Bones Highland might not get a lot of. Bones Highland might not get a lot of playtime now, man. They got to keep Boston, uh, Brandon Boston Jr. as well. They got to keep Coffee as well. They got Harden, Norman Powell now in Boston Jr. Now at the small forward, they got. Paul George, Terrence Mann, and Coffey. I thought, I didn't know Terrence Mann was a three guard. I thought he was a two guard. Now, um, Kawhi playing the four is kind of crazy. He's like a little small ball four like P.J. Tucker. So, bro, Kawhi and P.J. Tucker on the same court is a defensive crazy matchup, man. Like, I'm not going to call P.J. Tucker an elite defender, but he knows how to, like, hold his own. You feel me, though? And then, I, and then they got Zubak and Plumley and Petruzov. Let me see. Who is this Petruzov nigga, bro? Never seen him a day in my life, bro. I don't think this nigga has even scored an NBA point in his career. But they got rid of, bro. Hopefully, he's good because the Clippers need a shooting center. Like how the the, the, the Boston Celtics have uh, Porzingis. The Heat. I said the Heat. The, se the Clippers need a shooting center on their roster, bro. But, hey, this is crazy. And then let me go over everything. Everything they gave up to get him as well. Let me see everything they gave up to get him. Where is that? Where? Let me see. Uh, I think Underdog usually be having it. Yeah. All right. Um. Everything they gave up. Oh, Danny Green got waived. Danny Green got waived. No. He played two or three, four games with the 76ers and they got rid of bro. Danny Green, come back to the Lakers, baby. We need that little spot-up shooter, you know what I'm saying? You got a ring with us in 2020, didn't it? Come on back to the Lakers, brother, man. Oh, that's so crazy. So the Sixers got Marcus Morris. He was not even playing an NBA game this season. Uh, Batum, I can see where they got rid of him. He's older. He's getting older. Um, he's a good, solid spot-up shooter, I guess. He can't really defend well, but he's a good spot-up shooter, Pretty washed up since his Blazers days. Robert Covington is the one that shocked me the most because he was starting for this team. He literally just guarded Wimby with them. Like, he's gone now. Robert Covington was their starter for them. He was their starting forward, and now he's gone. They, they just traded him out with PJ. Robert Covington is gone. And then I guess, like, I feel like PJ Tucker follows James Harden wherever he goes, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? The Rockets, the Rockets one, he, he was with him. And then now he's following him, the Clippers. And I feel like they were on one other team together. Am I tripping? They were on the Rockets, not the Clippers. Maybe I'm tripping. Maybe I'm tripping. But um, KJ Martin to the Sixers now, too. Now that's going to be good because now um, they have a lob threat. Tyrese Maxey, I can see it now. The Tyrese Maxey, the Harden lob, it's going to be lethal, man. But the only thing that scares me is the Sixers didn't get any backup point guards. Who's the Sixers' backup point guard? Because now that Maxi is going to have most of the usage and ball in his hands a lot. Let me see. 76ers. Pat Bev is not a ball handler. And Maxi's injured. Jaden Jaden Springer, he's... uh, DeAnthony Melton, he's a great defender. But they're not ball handlers and can't create their own buckets like how Maxi can, bro. They can't play late, make how Harden could. They need more point guard depth. I guess they're putting trust in Jaden Springer and Terquavion Smith. But um, that's scary, bro. I don't know. Like, if Maxi gets hurt, Melton running your one, how is that going to work, man? How is that going to work? Because Melton already starts. So, like, I, I don't know. how. Somebody in the comments, let me know how that's going to work. And then the multiple draft picks and the pick swap. 
is uh yeah i don't know how many picks they gave up and how many pick swaps they gave up and all that but yeah this is so crazy to me man do y'all think where y'all got the clippers ranked this year in the playoff standings like where they finish this season before they go to the playoffs and who do y'all do y'all think they have a chance to win it all this year after this trade and how do y'all think russ pg Kawhi, and harden are gonna work you think they'll all see the floor at once at the same time or you think they'll always have two stars on the court you know what I'm saying? Like, switch it up between Russ and Harden, then PG and Harden, then PG and Kawhi. And, like, so they always have a star playmaker on the court. That's going to be hard to guard, man. This is so crazy to me. I don't know how to respond to this. Like, this is crazy. Other teams got to make some moves, bro. This is this is insane. But, hey, I'm going to wrap up this video right here. I'm going to catch y'all, boys, in the next one. If you enjoy, hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to catch y'all in the next one. And I'm um... out. <laughs>